What's up, Space Cadets? It's your girl, Nova Blaster, and I'm back, back, back with a new video. Hey! So today we're going to be playing Disco Elysium? Elysium. I asked Google how to say that because I ain't going to fake. When I saw the word, I was like, poor gay? Like, I don't know. But, um, so if I said it wrong, Rose Google, not me, okay? Let's see what we can do with this. Without further ado, let's jump into it. We're legit playing now, so. Okay, let's begin. There is nothing. Only warm, primordial blackness. Your conscious for men, Cine. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Ever. Never. Ever. Never, Never ever, ever, baby. <laughs> An inordinate amount of time passes. I like it the is voice. only void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. Okay. An awareness creeps up on you. A mass lies hidden in your dead angle, soaking in some lurid acidic source. It's bloated and shameful. A ball of meat surrounding you. This is a terrible line of questioning, and it will only lead to more awareness of the meat. <laughs> okay, let's see. Plunge back into the fact of what's in deep depths. No, I want to know about the X thing. Something. Okay, she's she back here. No ball of meat. No light in the formless nothing. Just nice women. I like that. How about you cough up some more of that sweet observation? Coming right up, sir. Smooth <laughs> passy. Do you really? You wouldn't like it if I told you what was back there. Why'd you think you had to bludgeon yourself into oblivion? Or did you not sense yourself marinating? Poured so much on yourself, got a bit carried away, did we, Chef? Fear. And apprehension. You should ask what's out there first. There's this giant ball there. An evil apes. And the evil apes are juking it out on the ball. You're one of them. It's basically all just evil apes juking it out on a giant ball. That's crazy because that's literally what it is. <laughs> How big is this ball? You can't even make out it's a ball when you're juking it out. It's that large. Sounds infinitesimally small. Lying for resources is just a stupid expression you picked up somewhere. The part of the presentation you want to take home with you is this. You have to beat the other evil apes in the face. Or you lose. That's sad. Yes. <laughs> That's really sad. You drowned in that sadness a long time ago. Ooh, what do you mean? You right? lost. Oh, damn. Okay. It took me a minute to catch up mentally. The confusion was there. Okay, this must be us. This must be us. 
I like the narration. I thought I was gonna have to read everything. Thank goodness, cause I read like dashy. But hey, we here. We in it. Oh dang, is he butt naked? So how how do we go about this? Oh. Clothes, yeah. Well, tab to highlight. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. Can we? Can we take? above a bent and broken sink. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. Hot water sprays from the base and steam covers the mirror. Mm. You cannot see yourself, just the outline of a man. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. Abort. You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you see there, and you will never unbecome it. Yeah, there is definitely something he wrong He got me. It. He got me scared. Where to even begin? Dang, am I ugly? There is the bloatedness, then the swollenness. It's like there's an upholstery of alcohol underneath your skin. Oh. Bet you are. <laughs> your nose feels like a small balloon in the middle of your face. It hurts when you honk it. It doesn't appear to be a particularly tiny nose either. Not with all the drinks it's absorbed for you. Okay. It's not. It's swollen and snail-like, wriggling between your fingers. Yeah. Yeah, if they say it's a bad idea for me to check, I'm not going to. Where is, why is all your stuff all over the place? Your pants, everything. I need I need my pants. I only got one shoe. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Or has it been consigned there as punishment? You feel as though this creature is your friend and wants to reattach itself to your neck <laughs> so that you may continue your adventures together in this strange world. Oh, snap. No, pull the the thing. blades come squeaking to a halt. It should Always be easier good. to reach the tie now. Yeah, it should be. You swoop up and catch the tie. Ooh, Snap. You know it's what? released from the blade. Warning, warning. The necktie is no longer contained. You know what? I don't like that. I don't like that it's like a dice roll and, and uh, bruh. What you have in your hand is a fantastically colorful tie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. Okay, so do we get everything? Should we look at the window? The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. The morning light hurts your eyes. It's hazy, but you see the ocean. The voice acting in this is superb. Oh my goodness. Can I assess the damage? Always loses, always wins. 
assist. What do you mean, assist the damage? How would you do that? What are you even trying to do? I wanted to just see how, is this even my crib? Like, cause now I'm starting to think maybe it's not even my crib. Oh, it's a door right here. Maybe we should check out this door before we go. And he said, what are you even trying to do? I'm like, bro, don't, ain't this my crib? I guess that's a no. Okay, let's just leave. All right, I, I just wanted to see if I knew what it was. I gotta start looking at the percentage of these rolls too. You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. Oh. It Good says job. whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. I love this the number game one is already. Etched on it. The... it should open the door. The voice acting. Okay, let's go. Sheesh, we, we outie. Wow, okay. So many things to interact with. What's this? Hello, officer. No, should I be talking? The young to woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Her eyes are brown and her face is speckled with birthmarks. She can't be more than 28. Uh, no. There's only one solution to this. You're a businessman. The young woman shakes her head slowly. No, you're a police officer, sir. Okay. <laughs> I am, yes. Are you sure? Unless you've been feeding us a set of very well rehearsed lies all this time. Okay. Good. At least I know how. You've been here for three days on official police business, no less. Couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. Oh, yeah, that's a no go. Of course. Be careful, officer. Yeah. I think that's they don't like the police know. around here. Something stirs in you as she's about to go. Call it an instinct, a need, the need to ask questions. Okay. It's like you said the words a million times before. She looks back at you, a light glinting off her eyes. Yes. Okay, what is where exactly is here? Tell me. There was the usual ruckus. Loud disco music. I couldn't say. It's impossible to hear people speaking from over here. Hmm. Oh, yes. Various artists. Ostentatious orchestration prime among them. I'm already like trying to get on detective oh, oh, mode. Oh, we're huge where I come from. Right, and I'm I was very struggling. young then, of course, like seven. Life gets hard, but we go on. I don't know about that. At around two o'clock, the disco stopped, and there was a change of pace. What a happened? slow, sad song started playing like organ music on repeat. That went on for quite a while. Some of the time you were yelling along to it. Yes, there was a church in there, 
a really small church, like the smallest, saddest church in the whole world. It was about that. And also... What else? That it doesn't matter anymore and that we're alone now. It was difficult to tell. The song itself is very quiet and soft, but you sounded like a winded boar, sir. It was hard to understand what you were singing on top of it. <laughs> Don't be. I was going out later anyway. It didn't bother me. Then you started screaming and trashed the place. Mm. No, it didn't sound like there was a fight. It sounded like someone was trashing their room. Okay. A window was smashed, a tape player probably. The song stopped and furniture too. A real destructathon. There was screaming. Then I think uh, you passed out. There was. I think you screamed that you didn't want to be this type of animal anymore. I may have misheard, but it was sort of memorable. I went out afterwards. Everything was quiet by then, around four or five. Okay. And that was it. What is it that they have against you? It's okay. Uh, Okay, You're in a hostel, sir. A hostel? No. We are in Revachol. Revachol is the disgraced former capital of the world. Okay. Divided into zones of control under foreign occupation. Half a century after a failed world revolution, she is central to our moment in time. You sure look like you're from Revachol. Revachol parties. Okay. I ain't even gonna ask what they got against police officers, cause... It's 51. The current century? <laughs> Centuries don't have numbers, they have names. And this is the current one. Civilization has existed for 8,000 years, sir. Okay. Yeah? Those words, tell me something else. What? Feel like something you've said innumerable times before. Your mouth is the very shape of them. What is it that they have against? Yeah, the I dock guess. workers are pretty cocky. I guess they we might as well hit all of them. At least here on the coast. I can't say about the rest of the city. Glad to have been of assistance. Okay, so she was helpful. Okay, so we were able to get a lot of information from that. This is good so far. I like the readings and everything. I would speak to these two people. So I don't remember anything. I guess we'll look at everything. The mirror. You should totally sing karaoke here. The first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know your vast oceanic soul. Utterly. 
and it needs to be heard. <laughs> I like how these different emotions are it's like. Through a PA system. Like. By other people. You should sing the sad small church song from that tape you found. Thought it was obvious. No, no. Don't sing the happy song. It's stupid. <laughs> sing the sad song. You would need another copy of the tape first, though. The one upstairs is destroyed. Okay. So, tasking, sing karaoke, get hold of a sad church song. Okay. And I'm just like, I want to sing something happy. And he's like, no, no. Sing something sad. A man in his late 20s stands behind the counter, mm -hmm. inspecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance, then looks down again. That was disdain in his eyes. Even now, he's purposely ignoring you. Hmm. Oh no, you're a hero. A real hero cop. Could the massive property damage upstairs have anything to do with this? Am I? Or did you ride in, take the body down, solve the murder, and not trash my hostel room? <laughs> no, you see, actually, you didn't. You haven't done anything even remotely useful since you got here. Oh. No, I haven't seen you around. I'm not always here. <laughs> a competent work of taxidermy. The white and brown but seabird why would he do lies it at the piles bar? of coasters and drying mugs. One of its wings broken. Kind of gross. The man is trying to mend it. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it. Most likely on a wall. Okay. Something about it makes you feel bitter. Look, your buddy is over there. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? He pretends not to hear you. Concentrating on the bird instead. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna leave. No point in continuing to talk to this man if you're gonna completely ignore me anyway. I feel like all these random facts that we're collecting, I'm trying to find out if they're useful. You know what I'm saying? Like, are these being written down somewhere? What's this? Oh, yeah, it says all that. You'll never know when we might need some help, baby. Okay. open hand you see a blister pack of headache medicine the man does not mind you probably need them more than he does you've just picked up some magnesium this item is stored in the bottom left corner of the screen above your character portrait oh I use see. magnesium to heal your morale if you have morale damage okay understood I have a feeling this is like a slow burn, like so pretty much like we got to get through all this storyline before we can, we start getting to the part where stuff start hitting the fan, you know what a I'm saying? A bespeckled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks as you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. If an assault were launched on this building right now, 
if the windows came crashing down and the whole world descended upon you, this man would hurl himself in death's way to save you. You are sure of this, but why? Hello, I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Precinct 57. You must be from the 41st. You realize he is waiting for your name. This is your chance to come up with a really good name for yourself. Get creative. Conceptualize. Whew, that's 58%. That's a 50-50 chance. Uh, to be honest, I can't remember anything, so... Okay, then. It looks like we had a little scheduling error on Sunday. Saturday, too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? Uh, wait, mapped out initial interviews? At the 57th, we like to prepare an initial list of persons of interest oh. and then just skim the surface, prepare the field, get to know the players. You don't do that? Maybe it's not an inter-district practice. Um, I have okay, been. we'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? Dead body from the tree? Completely. Dead body from the tree? Mm hmm. Uh. No. So, the body is still in the tree. Yeah. This is the first time you detect a weariness in the lieutenant's voice. I'm it sorry. is obvious he would have preferred for the body to no longer be in the tree. I mean. Where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. Let's get going then. Up to you, officer. If you're about to embark on an investigation, shouldn't you have a badge? You mean you don't have a badge? Losing your identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a shortwave. You can use it to report your badge missing. I advise you to try to locate it as quickly as possible. But Lieutenant Kitsuragi is now in your party. You can talk to him whenever by interacting with him. Things are so strange. Like, how come he just doesn't tell him, like, I've lost my, literally lost my memory. Like, I'm working off of zero knowledge. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because that is something that I feel like is very important to say. Let's talk to this lady real quick. Hello, sweetie. Wait, who's Sweetie? You're a handsome man, officer, with your mustache and your chiseled jaw and mm -hmm. that silly dimple on your chin. Well, isn't she sweet? But dear, you're not for me. <laughs> I'm too old and too married, besides. Oh, uh, well, thanks anyway. You must forgive me. I'm getting so scatterbrained. I completely forgot to introduce myself. I'm Lena. My husband Morel and I are staying with our friend Gary just down the street, but I come here for tea when they're away. Mm. This Lena is wacky enough for the Motley crew. Hire her on the spot. Of course, dear. Good yeah, luck with your case. Yeah, I her on the spot. Why is my self, so, so, like my emotions, so weird? Like, especially that one. That emotion is we always the man weird. With the unimpressive beard notices you approaching, Mister Gart, right? You're right. Yes. 
Alright, get to it. I'm gonna take a bite of my sandwich real quick. Hold on. Oh, that's good. Okay, I had to get me a little something to eat. I am King Kitsuragi from Prison 57. This is an inter-district investigation. Mm. So joining me from Prison 41. Fantastic. Right. Now, I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene. It also took you a while to call us and report the dead body. It was you who placed the call, yes? No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? What, of Martinez? No, I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. So he owns multiple buildings, but, but he you might still be a know suspect. your way around, yes? In case we need directions. Yes, I know where some things are, but as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. I didn't imply that. Detective, I have everything. You? Yes, yes. He means, do you have questions for me, like a police officer would? We know where the body is. We know the body is in a tree, so no point in asking that. Who killed them? He doesn't know. She went away because none of your business. Extra fine. That's what we need to know. Let's go. Not so fast. You owe me 130 real. Yeah. No one is saying the multi pattern necktie you found tied to the ceiling fan can talk. No one. It must be merely imagination. Let's bail! Time to push the eject button! Sounds like a responsibility! You don't like those! My chance of slipping away. Oh, excuse me. You owe me 130 real. The IIR, or Interisolary Real, is the global reserve currency. Whatever part mm. of the world you're in right now, it's safe to assume he means you owe him some money. Wow, you're a genius. Yes, that's right. Money. You, you know what? Owe this I don't like the way. 130 real. I don't like the way you're talking to me. Who does that clown think he is? Arrest him! Let's see. Three nights at a tariff of 20 real comes to 60 real. Then there's the window you annihilated. The hole in the window was the first thing I saw when I came to work. So don't try to tell me you didn't. That will be 40 real in damages. Another thing you've annihilated is half the bar. You've run a tab of 30 real. Actually, more, but we'll round it down to 30 for your hard work maintaining the stability and order of Revachol. That's 60 plus 40 plus 30 equals 130 real. What are you, a philosopher? Money is what grown up people use to pay for things. Yeah, because things he's like been having trouble. This hostel me. room, or, or eight bottles of potent blend, and nine packs of royal extra. We use it for everything, really. Mm.
There's a shuffle of nylon as Lieutenant Kitsuragi looks for something in the pockets of his orange bomber. That's cop four. I haven't offered to pay because I don't have any money either. I'm sorry, but he has to pay. I can't let him stay here any longer if he doesn't. If he doesn't have the money by tonight, then... Officer. Maybe you are better off working this from home for now. You live in Jamrock, right? It's not that far away. Officer, you really need to take this up with your station. I have a shortwave radio in my car. Call them, ask for assistance. We have to get this investigation started now. Good luck. Okay. We got even more tasks. By the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank. And th but you've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. You don't really know, do you? South, maybe. Doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. I like how he thinks. Like, I like how these different voices are like, like, bruh, come on now. Think, think, right now, think. You can try. Run some addresses in your head when you get the time. Maybe a street or an apartment will appear. Okay, so what is this? Okay, we got a couple of things to do. Yes? What do you want to know? Maybe you can tell me what you do know to help me narrow it down a bit. Do you want me to brief you? Three days ago, the RCM emergencies desk received a report about a security guard who was found hanged in Martinez. An anonymous caller said there was a dead body behind the whirling in Rags hostel cafeteria. The cadaver had been there for four days. No one had come to investigate. During that time, the victim had been stripped of his belongings. The caller did not identify him, but used the word lynching. There is an ongoing labor dispute between the local dock workers and the logistics company Wild Pines. I was told we should approach the death as part of this dispute. A security guard or worker of some sort hired by Wild Pines. This was just hearsay from Martinez, of course. We need to find out the truth. Mm. They didn't identify themselves in any way. The tone was muffled using a device of some sort. The desk could identify neither the caller's age nor sex. There is a strong prejudice against involving the RCM in what's seen as union matters. The dock workers' union is the de facto police in Martinez. Now it appears they've started executing too. We cannot allow that. Just to be clear, we are police officers. It's our job to find the killer. That's the case. Uncover and arrest the killer. No, it's not a particularly mysterious case. The deceased is a security guard for a corporation involved in a labor dispute. It doesn't take a DeLorean polymath to put the pieces together. I just don't see the case getting more mysterious than that. Then you are in luck, because we are in the midst of a major strike by the dock workers' union. Maybe more than that. The union clearly wants a piece, not just of the industrial harbor, but the Wild Pines Corporation itself. Is this a strike then? 
or the first shots in a worker's coup. I expect the case itself to be less challenging than navigating these community matters. This district isn't used to the RCM's presence, and the Union rarely overplays its hand, as it appears to have done in this case. Strike, coup, revolution, it's brigandage, however you parse it. Okay. You feel something rising through you, a familiar feeling, an opinion taking form. When I said we have to navigate community matters, I did not mean we have any say in them. I meant we should be careful. If we are not, the shit will blow right in our faces. From an imaginary fan. Now, was there anything else you wanted to know about the case? No response. He just arches his brow. Have you tried concentrating on something other than your personal affairs? There is a sudden, harsh edge to his voice, like he's tired of hearing about your personal affairs. Try work, the case at hand. It can work miracles. Focus on other people's troubles, not your own. That is a relief. A moment passes. The lieutenant glances at the sports watch on his wrist. It's like crazy because like... Okay, so we want to sing karaoke. No, is these things we've already done? Okay, inspect the body hanging in the back of the yard. Okay, that's what we need to do. Okay, let's go find this body now. Now that I've been briefed. Okay. So, sorry that took me so long. I wanted to make sure I looked at everything. You see a set of tire tracks in the brown slush that covers the plaza mosaic. Mm -hmm. Hard to say. Your vision is blurred and you're having difficulty concentrating thanks to your relentless hangover. These tracks are not interesting at all. Let the street sweeper just sweep them away. Ah, ain't right, man. Oh, man. The corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human. Not it's swollen man. and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. You seem to be holding your breath. A cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. Mm. The smell seeps in even through your clenched nostrils. Active decay. 
It's okay to throw up, officer. No one is judging. He's about to blow! Cock's gonna blow, Kuno! There are several footprints in the mud, left by work boots. Anywhere from six to twelve pairs have walked here. Mm. Can I? Can I? Maybe more than twelve. No. Eight pairs of boots nice. shuffled we back did it. and forth in the mud. One. Standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number 46. Two. Standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number 44. Steel Three. Hobnailed work boot. Steel reinforced toes. These are all people from the dock. Right? The dock. Four. That gotta Standard be. work boot, number 45 or 46. You don't know. <laughs> it's a miracle you can tell the prints apart as it is. The cold must have preserved them. Five, another standard work boot, steel reinforced toes, number 44. Six, an aberration, light as air, even pace. Same make of boot, but number 41. Hmm, wait a minute. Light as air, even pace. Probably doesn't Impossible know. to tell. Could also have been an adolescent. That's the gait is undeveloped. Seven, the glowing outline of a standard work boot number 46 but the imprints are twice as deep as the others so they're the heavier weight exceeds 200 yeah. kilograms they're heavier okay Eight. and yet another standard work boot number 44 there's an aberration in the pattern of the sole however the right sole is smoother more worn okay how many <sighs> sheesh let's see it's about 400 million. I was pretty off then. I can't hit 20. The same guy are going back and forth. Way off. I never got the hang of it. Hyperopia. Yeah. Do you see anything out of the ordinary? Uh, the light step 41. I think it's weird. I'll point out the woman the or a kid. Yeah, I'm thinking it could be the kid. Oh, uh, I think they're understood. Anything else? Two hundred? Could it be the combined weight of two people? One carrying like he the carrying other. Carrying one person. Oh. Let's say a heavily built worker carrying a similarly built, soon to be dead man. Oh, good he conclusion. Might be right. 200 kilograms of living weight is unlikely. Yeah. Okay, one of them was carrying him. Possibly, yes. Oh, okay, I, I'm getting it. I'm getting there, y'all. Okay. This is starting to get a little... This is starting to get good, okay. Interesting. Let's name it the old soul. Someone operating a workbench with a pedal? Like a joiner at the harbor? Or maybe a drummer? He regrets it the moment he says it. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> we are not looking for a drummer. <laughs> we are looking for a group of dog workers. Right, you're fine. Perhaps it could be a driver. A driver would wear out the right shoe before the left. The accelerator is on the right. Oh, not thoughtfully. I should think... The exact same thing too. Interesting. We should keep our eyes open around the traffic jam. See whether anyone strikes out as a potential suspect. Bruh. It seems prudent, no? Yes. Mm -hmm. How old do you think? A week should... maybe? Seven days would fit the time frame provided to us by the caller who reported the hanging. It is not impossible. I pulled last week's forecast for coastal Ravachon. Seven days below freezing. 
the day oh, before, the day the of mud was the last would have froze, keeping them. Ah, that makes Correct sense. Correct the game. Sub zero temperatures would preserve the tracks in a good state. Right. The commotion here could have taken place a week ago. Okay. What do I think? Mm -hmm. A mob of people brought something heavy to the tree. Yeah. One of them was carrying the victim. Yeah. They shuffled around, especially under the tree. So a group of people killed Then, him. after hoisting him up, they stood in a semicircle facing his direction. At first glance, this appears to be a lynching. Yeah. It does. Indeed. They all stood in a row here and looked at the tree. They did. Okay, we need to find some more stuff. I, I feel like I'm coming to the same conclusion. Take all that. Kuno, the pig's getting pretty close to me. Come to snuff my shit out, I think. Looks like it's time for me to go, Kuno. Pigs come to take me in. I'm going away for a long, long time, Kuno. Going away for life. Boy, What's going on there? You being dramatic. What are you trying to pull, pig? mind games i'd rather die than squeal get the fuck out of here face you got done talk to me okay well, i'll talk to you then kuno's got this if there ever was such a thing as an ugly kid then this is it <laughs> he's almost exquisite in his ugliness like a gremlin mm. oh Can't talk, pig. Shit's coming up strong. Throwing rocks. Shit coming up strong. That sounds good. Joyous. You should hang out with this kid and see what that juicy shit is all about. I mean drugs. The kid's on drugs. Ah. Uh. Yeah, Kuno. Ride the lightning, Kuno. No, I did Kuno's not know that's what sin. was going on. know what a rake is? Kuno is not a gardener. All right, entertain the Kuno. Show me what you got. What you got there? What you got, huh? Show me what you got. Shitload pig. What's your question? Don't tell the pig shit, Kuno. If I were to want to waste my time, which I do not, I would ask them who he is, how he got there, and the usual. Okay, thank you. That's that's what I was looking for as far as options, but thanks, Kim. Got me sitting here talking to this boy, and obviously he riding the magic dragon right now. Do you know who he was? Kuno's fucking. Kuno uses the fucking for target practice. Probably climbed. Kuno was busy down the road when that shit went down. You heard Kuno. Kuno wasn't even in Martinez. Kuno wasn't in Revachol. Kuno wasn't regional. I don't know. Some fucking... Mesk or... or I don't know. Some other place. Night City. Kuno was in fucking Night City. There is no Night City anywhere. That sounds like the name of a city in some pulp science fiction novel. Why you gotta be riding Kuno's ass? You haven't been where Kuno's been. You haven't been in Kuno's head. You wanna know where Kuno was? You wanna know what Kuno's been fucking up to? Don't tell him that, Kuno. It's lame. It's not fucking lame. Kuno's building Kuno City. Night City. Rage City. The City of Rage. That's it. And it's not lame. Lame. That's the name of Kuno City, bitch. Get the fuck off Kuno's back. This shit ain't about that. <laughs> Just a couple of pigs sniffing around in the dirt. That seems pretty fucking suspicious to Kuno. Mm. Yeah, you tell the faggoty Kuno. 
You're testing Kuno's patience here. Get lost. Mm. Right, pig. This is where Kuno plays with his little wooden choo choo. What do you want with it? Okay. Don't know. Kip that's gardener used to work there. Kipped is a pejorative term used to okay. describe people of South Seminese or Eri Oppergite descent. It used to be a common first name among the Eri Oppergites of Ilmara. Not so much anymore. Yeah, that's what Kuno said. She couldn't handle the heat, so she took off. Kuno can take it. Shit, nothing to Kuno. Okay. Look, Kuno doesn't explain shit. Kuno just says shit. <laughs> okay, Kuno, yeah. you're a little uh. weird for me, bro. Okay, the ladder. Look at that fucking shit. You're trying to get Kuno killed. Okay. Fuck, does Kuno know? Kuno's not a fucking acrobat. The lieutenant takes a quick note in his notebook. Good to know. It's a trap, Kuno! Yeah, whatever. Kuno doesn't give a shit. Yeah. yeah. The kingdom of Kuno. The fuck do you want with it? Yeah, whatever. Kuno doesn't give a shit. The fuck about it? Oh, no. Your test. Get lost. Uh -huh. Kuno doesn't fucking care. Okay, we're not gonna ask who Kuno is because he's Kuno. You know? So it makes no sense to ask the boy who he is. Anything else that we're missing here? Okay, what's this? What's this? What about this? An inconspicuous pile of the roofing material, Etonite. Because it's nice and orderly, well-laid pallets, easy on the eyes. No, there's more to this. Yes. You get this strange feeling. Hard to say. It's gone now. It's nothing. Someone just left some roofing material slanted against an old shack. No, that is something. Uh, I can't figure out anything because I'm so my purse is so stupid. <laughs> like literally. Okay, can we come back this way, please? That is definitely suspicious. Not not the rolls messing me up, Lord. This trash container is locked. The slide, there's something in there, not necessarily connected to the case, but still. The body is downwind from here. Maybe you prefer the smell of garbage to the smell of death. Trash, food waste from the cafeteria. They lock these containers to keep the derelicts from flocking in be evidence too. Mm -hmm. We could try using a pry bar. There's one in my motor carriage or... Or lieutenant? Or we could ask for a key from the manager of the whirling in rags. He probably has one. Okay, good idea. Because uh, the I need to... All ideas are good ideas, lieutenant. Alright, let's boogie. Before you stands a motor carriage. The bodywork is covered in blue and white livery, bearing the number 57. Okay, so this is Vapor just emanates car. from the large engine on the back of the vehicle. It hasn't had time to cool off yet. This must be the infernal machine that tore you from oblivion. In the cabin, you are welcomed by a set of steering levers, a radio microphone on a hook, pull-out toolbox under the seat. 
and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. Okay, so we do have some other stuff we need to do. Inspect the victim's body. We already did that. Report your badge missing. We need to do that. Okay. So let's grab the radio. Okay. The metallic drawer slides out from under the seat and clicks into place. Oh, the tools inside the radio. are neatly organized. Take what you need, officer. It's going to be a long case. I'm not protective of my tools, like some men are. He's clearly a little protective of his tools. But what can you do? Work is work. It's robust, weatherproof, and well-made. Police issue, blue. Let's you see things in the dark you would otherwise miss. Mm -hmm. The pull-out toolbox slides back into its nest. Yeah, Blue I don't want to take all his stuff. I feel like a flashlight like to start the radio is good. On its hook. The frequency tablet lights up and the green button labeled Prime Line glows like a feline eye. And then you hear something. The soft purr of electrical kittens. Radio waves <laughs> cast That's far That's a good way to explain it. I like the way this explains the storyline. A woman's voice greets you through the static. Oh, does it now. This is Precinct 57. Hello, Lieutenant. How may I assist you? Mm -hmm. Hello, Alice. Please assist our colleague from the 41st Precinct here. I'm putting him on. This is Officer Alice Demetri, Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Just a second, Officer. 102, 105. This is 41st. Come in. Over. They talk French. A scrawny old man sits in a dusty cubicle, smoking, with a large white rectangle sewn on his vest. In front of him is a box-shaped apparatus with an array of wires and antennas. The radio switchboard. The man uses relay code. You got this. You're a cop, and cops know relay code. 10-4, message received. 10-5, relay message. What's your status? Over. 10-18, state your message, sir. Ten nine over. Ten four message received. This is a very serious situation. I need to ten twenty two the captain over. Is it him? What does he want? Says he lost his badge and needs to report it. He what? He lost his badge. Who lost his badge? Dick fucking Mullen. Who do you think? My name is Mullen. It's Officer Dick Mullen from the bestseller Dick Mullen and the Lost Identity. <laughs> Dick Mullen is not your name. It's the name of a fictional detective oh. who would not lose his badge. Defend yourself immediately. They're laughing at you. Ten four, I hear you, officer. I'm mm -hmm. just going to make a note here that you are in pursuit of your misplaced badge. Over. Thank you. Fuck me! Mac, come here! You've got to hear this! Dick Mullen lost his badge! What's going on? Super Cop here lost his badge. He lost his what now? His badge. He lost his goddamn fucking badge. Ten nine, come again. I didn't get that. Over. New heights even for Captain Sober. Ask him. <laughs> Ask him if he's lost his gun too. Sergeant Orson wants to know if you lost your gun too. Check your pockets. Check your... Holy fuck. You don't know where it is, do you? Okay, it's gone. Your gun is most definitely gone. This is not good. <laughs> Don't sweat it, Bratan. 
You don't need a gun to have fun. We can still have fun. It's not all over. Something must have happened to him. Captain Lime, was... coming officer. Did you get my question? We were wondering about your gun. Ten one, you're breaking up. Ten nine, repeat. Ten nine, coming officer. Over. Coming officer. Ten nine, repeat message, please. Did you misplace your firearm? Over. The silence is almost deafening after you flick off the switch, severing the connection. That did not go well. I guess the important thing is that you followed protocol and reported your lost items. Yes, yes I did. And I still feel terrible about it. Do we finish inspecting the body? Okay, so I guess we still gotta inspect the body. So we're gonna go back to do that. Did we need anything else here? Okay. Okay. Let's go back to the body just because I didn't complete. For some reason, I didn't complete it. There must have been something about the body we must have missed. There he still is, looking right through you with his white eyes the smell is repulsive it pushes in from your mouth more instant and more familiar than anything you expected more fever than odor it fills your mind i guess i have flushing to. you from within yeah yeah just yeah let it out bro kind of gross You feel a great force ringing from your stomach. Your body curls and pushes it out until a pool of vomit lies under your feet and your throat stings from the stomach. It's okay. Happens to everyone. Keep it. The hangover is clearly making this worse for you. You could use some ammonia to clear your head. If you can handle the headache, some officers use it to deal with cadaverine odor. There is Frit nearby, east of the hostel. They usually have a small apothecary. If they don't... There's a greenhouse here, and a gardener with a wheelbarrow on the corner of the whirling in rags. If she works here, she might have something for the smell. Acquiring ammonia will provide a modifier to the white check. Modifiers make checks easier and allow you to retry them. Ooh, okay. Okay, good to know. The RCM in Martinez. What can I help you with? Of course. What can I help you with? Sure, I'm done with it. Go easy on that stuff. It gave me a terrible headache. Of course. Where to? No problem. Of course. Her gloves. You get the feeling that you need them. You have a dead body to deal with after all. Sure. Keep them. I have a... Okay, so she let us keep her gloves. We're gonna definitely need them for the dead body. Okay, we're gonna inspect the body and then we're gonna end it because we're, we're coming up on that hour or so. But I, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like that first playthrough be like, you know, the first playthrough of a new game be rough because you're learning how to play. Um, you know, you're still kind of looking at everything and yada yada and really getting to know how to play the game. But uh, I think I think I'm starting to get the gist of everything now. There he still is looking right through you with his white eyes. The body below is you crack open the ammonia ampoule and breathe in. The odor of death is still stronger. It's a spell of the mind telling you to run and your stomach to wring itself empty. With your eyes squinting, you stand in it. The man before you is naked, but for a pair of underpants and enamel boots. His skin is greenish, marbled with decaying veins and blotched by lividity. 
Ooh, the way they describe it, covers his crazy. chest and shoulders. The cargo belt used to fasten him to the branch above appears industrial in strength. Okay. The material appears to be ceramic. Its clean white stands in stark contrast Ooh. to the decaying flesh above the knee. The man wore thick polymer socks, probably for padding. A fine array of interlocking plates covers them. Mm. Delicate yeah. and fragile, they feel alien to the world around you. Out of place somehow. Yeah, definitely. These are clearly not boots. They're armor. Possibly yeah. part of a larger set. That's why I was thinking like that don't look like no boots. They look like like a knight knight uh, like armor. Yeah, like knight and stuff. These aren't boots. They are. Are they? Indeed. Technically speaking, these are sabatons, not boots. Sabatons. What is that? Ceramic plate. Zirconium dioxide, most likely. This is where the make would be. Under the heel. Fair weather. Fair weather model T500 VE. I'm guessing that's vitreous enamel. This is advanced stuff. This feels dangerous. Are you sure? The sabatons dangle off the man's decaying form, ageless and synthetic. Piece by piece. He's been out here for seven days. It would be odd if they didn't. We should keep a look up for these pieces. Right, that's what I'm thinking. could yield information. Maybe he'll know something. The sabatons dangle off the man's decaying form, ageless and synthetic. It is. It's expensive. We've requested similar material for our tactical units for years now. The constabularies deemed it too costly. In that time, we've lost six men to semi-automatics. Mm. For a full set, about four years of wages. Four years? That's a car For the northwest region of Revachol, an officer's average yearly income is 5,500 real, unadjusted for rank. As a wage, it's regrettably small. But for a piece of hardware, yes, that's a lot. Right, how could this That's for us to find out. My initial report on the area suggests he was a security guard for the Harbor Company, but that's just hearsay. I agree. This equipment is way beyond what a guard can afford. Yeah, definitely. A small bell-like sound fills the air, like tapping on the side of a porcelain cup. It's anything but. This material is a kinetic redistributor. It spreads kinetic energy horizontally. Oh, plate plate. that's smart. So when it, it hits, entirely. instead of it See? just going in and then that whole thing, it ripples out to even out the pressure. Faint organic lines cover smart. the plates where they separate into smaller ones. These plates then divide into smaller plates mm -hmm. until there are hundreds of them altogether, mm -hmm. like whirls of floorboards. The design looks organic, influenced by highly resistant wood materials like lignum vitae and ebony, perhaps. If trees were made of porcelain, this is what their cross sections would look like. The smooth, glossy surface fractures into ever more intricate interconnections, peaking on the right sabaton, where you notice. The whorls are in the shape of a letter and number combination, E50. 100, 1,000. Good. Can you read it to me? We have a make and a number. Nice. That's something. We can use the radio in my kinema when we're done. Either station can chase it for us. Nice the work. cadaver slowly twists on the cargo belt. His torso covered in tattoos. And okay, so we did the, the, the boots. Blue. Let's check the belt next. The hangman's knot is pulled tight by the weight of the corpse below. Oof. Yellow, hard-edged polyester cuts into his neck. Above, a sliding buckle ties the belt to the branch. 
Okay, continue. This is a steel reinforced cargo lashing belt. Yeah, I Big recognize those. The they use them belts. for it's like used the trucks. It's for tying cargo under six rotor airships. Mm -hmm. And they use them on those trucks. Like, I don't know if you've ever been on a road trip, but those large uh, cargo trucks that hold like the large logs, they use that to, to keep the logs steady as the vehicle moves. Airlifting. I thought it was used on lorries for strapping cargo to them. See? The local harbor uses six rotors to shuffle containers around. I get the sense they use whatever was on hand without paying much attention to not incriminating themselves. Yeah, I'm not like, that's definitely in incriminating. Like, why would you literally hang this man like this but the weirdest thing is the night shoes like that's the weirdest thing did they did they put the shoes on him because they were heavy and that would kill him faster but i feel like if you were gonna hang him it wouldn't matter his body weight would kill him you know okay I'm still approaching this as a lynching, yes. Motivated by the ongoing strike. You? No. You feel like it was something else. Yeah. But what? I feel like it's something else. Don't ask me, I'm just not there. Yeah, cause this seems, this seems too on the nose for me. Like it seems too on the nose. And then on top of that, if it was just a lynching between the two, why is he and why why the security guard then, you know? Yes, it often is. This bell worries me. I was afraid it would be. Thin steel wiring, parallel strands. This makes getting him down more problematic than I had assumed. A noose is one of those things that's easier to use one way around. Mm. That ladder can't carry a grown man. Yeah, we already I know that. I didn't see any splintering either, did you? No. I think they lassoed the branch, then pulled on the belt to close the buckle. The cadaver hangs from the cargo belt. Limbs limp mm. and torso covered in tattoos. All right, let's inspect An the tattoos. An intricate web of blue lines stretches across the torso, from the right shoulder to the solar plexus. Each time they intersect, a small white star is formed in their crossing. Hundreds of fading asterisks riddle his skin. Their concentration is highest around his heart. The freaking narration, I keep saying this, is grade A tier, like it's giving me His corpse is marked by stars. Alcohol and heartbreak. A map of the stars. I do see some similarity to astronomical charts. Great century Messinian, maybe. But this seems more particular. Customized somehow. As if someone left that most of the night sky, filtering it through personal choice. The principle of this filter remains unknown to you. The thought dissipates, and you feel as though you were only half right. So am I. He takes a thin piece of milled aluminium from his coat pocket and pulls it open. Sounds like a sword being unsheathed. A small lens appears. Some sort of camera. Shit, Kuno! What the fuck is that? An instant color camera. Mm -hmm. I have only two ampoules, so nobody move. I don't want to waste one. A sound, a shrill flash, followed by the breaking of a small ampoule of glass. You see streams of color pour onto the thick, glossy piece of paper, rolling out. Mm -hmm. In case we need it. Yes. It is pretty cool, isn't it? It is. I can't wait till they making them to cell phones and you ain't there gotta have a separate thing from your phone. Left. 
use it wisely. It contains insight to the victim's person. By his build, I'd say this was a man of physical violence. The story he wanted his body to tell was important to him. It is his letter, to us. Someone should decipher it. We'll need to show it around. Here, a souvenir. Don't lose it. The glossy-eyed corpse looks by, his mouth mute and his skin as colorful as the chemical rain. I don't know who y'all got to do the voice acting on this, organisms. but this person's voice is so You've acquired powerful. an interactable item. Investigate this item further by going to the interact tab in your inventory. This one? Oh, that's not Wait, what's that? Oh, it's telling me when it'll level up. Okay. His eyes are milky white and blind to the world, protruding comically from their sockets. There is no one home, just subaquatic terrors. The dark brown hair grows on his head. His face is ready to explode from the organic processes Ooh. inside. The death's head grin has passed. What remains is an unrecognizable mess. I'm gone. I'm a joke. Look at me. There is nothing funny about jokes either. A killer. A motherfucker. And a killer. Go ahead, Cobo. <laughs> What, what do you mean? It's the power of your imagination. <laughs> yeah, man! Don't be crazy! Inanimate objects and dead people can't really talk to you. Your wild imagination is doing this. Ask some more of those questions you love so much. He loves those. Enough. Come back later, Corpo. Amuse yourself with my frank manners and my memento mori features. If possible, also see me in your dreams. As you narrow your eyes, the monster before you blurs into a violent mess of green and pink. Only the lower extremities are pink with a dash of blue. His fatted hands, thighs, and his neck, just above the noose. The rest of the corpse appears dark green in the cold spring air. The cadaver slowly twists on the cargo belt, his torso covered in tattoos, and extremities blotched pink and... Are you sure we finished the preliminary examination of the cadaver? We might miss some of these things once he's done. The cadaver slowly twists on the cargo belt, his torso covered in tattoos. Of course. You have questions, don't because you're a copperoni. <laughs> Look at all of them go. Do you want more questions? Here you go, you loony. Because you have. Okay, Come enough. back later, Corpo. A mute. Hmm. Okay. The steel reinforced belt presents a unique challenge. New I brought skill. temperatures, but I don't see a good angle of approach to the belt. Okay, I got a new skill. Level up. Okay, great. 
That's still going. Okay. All the right. cadaver is a good 1.2 meters up. Neither one of us can reach the belt without assistance. And even if we do, there's the question of cutting the airship strength material. Mm. I was really hoping we wouldn't. The Union appeared to be suspect in this case. It seems like a dangerous route to go down. But what other options? The corpse twists on the belt, like chicken on a skewer. Hmm. Okay, so I think that we went over everything that we could go over at the moment. An intricate web of blue lines stretches across the torso of it still kind of looks like a map of the stars in the night sky. But something's not right. For you to discover, you've gotten as far as you will without assistance. Someone who knows about history could tell you. Okay, so I think I'm going to end it right here. We got a lot of stuff on our list that we got to complete. I just wanted to try it out. So far, so good. But I see that we're going to have to really get our level up. Like, I don't know if we'll gain, like, as we gain, like, these triangles, if that means that we're going to be able to pick the next best thing. Because we really need to get our intelligence up. We really need to get our intelligence up. Because, bro... Our logic is not helping. I should have went with intelligence because I'm thinking I was thinking psychological with like emotional like thing like that and it wasn't. But I'm gonna go ahead and end it right here. If you guys like this game, please show me by like uh like sharing and subscribe, babes. And I will see you, space cadets, in the next video. Bye me. <laughs> Darling, you